Today, in our Water Diplomacy in Action series, we welcome you to Indopotamia. This is a role play simulation game that we have created to essentially picture what will actually happen in the real world when you have conflicting stakeholders with divergent views come into negotiation for a transboundary water conflict. In this particular role play simulations, we have three different countries. They are in serious conflict with how to allocate and access water for multiple needs. In this simulation, what students will do, really they will play different roles as different countries and different stakeholders with multiple objectives and competing needs and demands. At the end, what they will learn really how to negotiate different types of solutions. Those are may not be equally acceptable to everyone, but mutually agreeable to the entire group. So this is the whole idea of water diplomacy, that when you have conflicting views, you have complex problems, you have divergent interests, there is no clear-cut solution. Solution is always contingent and must be negotiated. That is the underlying premise of water diplomacy. This is a complex problem, there is no clear solution, solutions are contingent and must be negotiated with two guiding principles, equity and sustainability, keeping in mind that it is also rooted in the idea of principle pragmatism. When you're engaged in a negotiation in the, in the Protamian Basin, you receive your confidential instructions as in real life, the mandate from your supervisor, the agency you represent, the country you've been entrusted to protect. And when you sit at the negotiation table, you need to decide how I'm going to sequence the information I reveal. With whom should I build a coalition? On which themes? At what pace? Through private caucuses? Through side talks? At the table? What trades am I willing to make? And when? And so, the water professionals who experience the role play negotiation over four different days get to see different outcomes because we have a diversity of groups negotiating at the same time. They all have the same technical dexterity, the political experience, and yet at the end of those four days, different groups have different outcomes. As in real life, it underscores the agency that you have in terms of the negotiations that you conduct. And if you couple it with scientific expertise, win-win solutions can occur. a bit on uh, where we stand. So on the form, there is a, um, a majority for convention, but some uh, have concerns. Many of you mentioned you're in favor of a broad scope, though so, I mean, I am aware that there are uh, several issues we have to discuss under this board and the river basin or also to cover areas outside the basin. It's a question of um, only servicing crowd water resources or more. No, we just feel very much that there is uh, forces kind of bullying against Alpha. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's very surprising to us that all the parties agree and that we're the only one defending our independence. So we just wanted to uh, make this point. It's time to step up. We're independent countries and we should de uh, defend our independence. We very much know that there are powers that want to cut this uh, independence. And it's obvious that the NGOs are on the train with those neo-colonial powers. And we're very much disappointed that you, as our former brother countries, are not able to uh, defend the rights of the region. So we hope you will reconsider. More strong in the region that you and uh, Alpha, Beta and Gamma, they are in the same uh, page 
in developmental schemes, sustainable development point of view, environmental implementations, community development. So these are, I think, show you more stronger face to the world as compared to you are in isolated in that thing. So don't think negative point of view. Just think on broad level. Thank this you. is my suggestion to you. That's why, again, I am requesting you to consider that if you have a convention, so whatever the government will take place in the next future, uh, next year or uh, after a few years, so there will be no hamper of the project implementation. So for the best of the regions, for the rest of, best of the basin area, I am again requesting you to go for the, I mean, the conventions, which, which will definitely uh, keep our interest. Not the interest of the others, the interest of the three countries. Uh, what we, we were just is discussing with Mo another uh, idea that we might be able to proceed. That would be that we all agree on a declaration and then we might be uh, in the position to review our decision on the scope. But the bank strongly advises a convention rather than a declaration. A declaration would mean that participants and the parties can renege on their commitment. It also, it also means a lot of uncertainty. But the bank also has very much uh, interest that the biggest country of the region is part of your agreement. If Alpha is not part of the agreement, the whole region will fall into instability. So I think you should consider that. So if I'm understanding it correct, it's either, it's either the declaration, it's either the convention, or the broad scope that you'd be willing to agree. Yeah, it's not, uh, almost. No, exactly. And now we have a word with Gamma. Okay. okay. That's why, why we need a review process. No, no. So why you the need review, review, is review is the project review and the... No, 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 no. Only the, the convention review. Convention. convention or whatever the text is not... The, <laughs> for the conventions and in exchange for what? <laughs> so we would be able to reconsider our, our position on the scope if we made yeah, the forum and the declaration. So you'd be willing to include some language about the, the baseline as a whole, and even potentially uh, beyond water management yeah, issues, like sustainable development. We might, and, and climate change, that is very much to your interest. It's all We might be able to support some Fear of it. No, it's not a fear. He's safe. He's safe. I'd be willing to uh, consider narrow scope. So by narrow, like you said, we mean uh, project restrained to surface and groundwater only, as opposed to basin-wide projects. But we would want to ensure that all the, the projects that go through have a firm <coughs> commitment in the form of a convention, not a declaration. We were talking to our government and we would be in the position of agreeing to a convention if <coughs> the scope is narrow, but we would be able to include in the narrow scope also energy because we think that's really important for the uh, whole basin. So it would not only be water, but water and energy. Because if you put the energy project, it means that it's a hydropower project. So Moose Street has a concern about that. Uh, there, if there are projects on upstream or on hydropower point of view, so there is a less amount of water going back to the river system and it is ulti ultimately affected by the lower riparian. So we are maybe have shortage of water or something like that. Some issues will come, come yeah. up like I think that. It's depends so on the type of hydro and the type of energy. Yeah. You could do renewables, yes. you could do small run of river. Not to Sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, then we okay, can we, can we break, just stop for yeah. uh, can, we, can we get a five minute break so that I think that we may be able to reach an agreement? So that's we would like to share the data, but uh, because if we want to initiate some projects, we share data with you, we discuss with you, but if you still want to veto our project, we might go, still go with that. But we, of course, take very much into consideration yeah, but, yeah, the, but, the, the situation of the basin. If you appreciate that the bank will not fund any projects under this agreement unless all the three riparians agree to it. I mean, oh, yeah. we, okay. can, we can okay. agree to, okay. you know, okay. we can agree to, um, you know, being being cognizant of each other's concerns in the agreement and um, appreciating the concerns of other countries. But as far as the funding is concerned, we all need to be on the same. Okay. Okay. Can we okay. okay. For think, yeah. Like in the next couple of years, um, we will open up our scope to a broad, broader. Okay. So we very much hope that you would be. Uh, 
I, on our side. I think that's very positive. To have a convention, okay? okay. So that is we agreed that. Sorry. And also we agreed that we're sharing the data. Yes. So now it is a matter of the scope. Where we delete the narrow and also the broad, better to make it a, the points that we specific yeah. points. Maybe uh, surface water, groundwater, and energy. That's okay. Yeah. And then you also need to specify the area. Yeah. Yeah. Area would be basin wide. Yeah, can be. No, that's a big problem. That is uh, uh, alphas is still I mean uh, disagreement about. But we proposing the basin, but within the okay. basin only the surface ground and the energy. Please alpha. I think it's nothing harm for you. It's also narrow. It's also narrow. Basin approach is in, in, involved everybody. I think you will agree. Only focus on water. <laughs> you your appearance said that you will agree. <laughs>